Taco Bell has thrown their hat in the ring of low-cost fast food value meals. How much is this one and what does it come with? Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan and today we got to talk about Taco Bell introducing their $7 Lux Cravings box with quite a few things in it that a lot of you guys are going to like. The chalupas are fries, a little bit of everything. Now, before we get to what's exactly in the box and how long it'll last, perhaps, let's go back a little bit. Now, this is yet another fast food restaurant trying the very same thing. We covered Wendy's, McDonald's, Starbucks. A lot of these places are trying to lower the cost for their customers. Look, if you go to McDonald's right now, which I've done within the past month to get a McCrispy chicken sandwich and the medium fry, you're paying at least $9. And that's down here in Tennessee, Georgia, that particular area. Now, if you're on the left coast, California, where minimum wage is like $1,000 an hour, that same thing I talked about, the sandwich and the fries for $9, that might be $15 to $20 over there because you have very high wages, very high taxes. So you're going to have very high prices naturally because how else are you going to pay the taxes and the wages and for theft or whatever else you got to cover in a place like Comedy, I mean, California is going to be very high. So fast food restaurants are trying to reduce this as much as they can. People are complaining, hey, I can afford it. You guys are robbing me bare face, no pistol every day at the window. This is ridiculous. Now, let's get into the cravings box to see what's inside and to see if you guys are going to eat it up pun intended and you see the headline here here's what's included in taco bell's seven dollar lux cravings box and then it says it's one more deal for the summer because a lot of these deals are just for the summer you can see what's going on here that might be some kind of mountain dew or sprite right there we got like a heart shell taco we get some chips we got a little bit of everything okay let's get into it and, and the article reads, uh, in late June, so they came out with this, I think it was on Thursday of last week. Today's Tuesday, July 2nd, 2024. This dropped officially last Thursday. So Taco Bell announced that it's offering its customers a new $7 Lux Cravings box, which includes full-size portions of fan-favorite menu items. Quote, with the launch of the $7 Lux Cravings box, we're giving cons consumers our most capable items at an affordable price point and living up to our commitment on value to satisfy cravings with fan favorite full-size menu items. Our cravings value menu is one of the leading value menus within the industry offering 10 items at under $3 because we believe consumers shouldn't have to choose between affordability and abundance. Now, listen, I've not been to Taco Bell in a millennia. I feel like I'm not really a Taco Bell kind of guy. If I'm going to eat Mexican food, it needs to be from a place that's close to authentic as possible. Taco Bell, man, listen, that right there, some of you guys may be harder willed than me, stronger than I am. Some of y'all can eat them chalupas and soft shell tacos and nacho bel grande, all of that to the face, and it's not really your problem. You got an iron stomach. Me, I'm not really in the same ballpark. So this is not going to be for everybody already but if you're already at taco bell late night two o'clock in the morning after the club warrior this is right up your alley but let's see what's inside so the lux cravings box includes a chalupa supreme beefy five layer burrito and a double stacked taco but there's more the box also includes chips and nacho cheese sauce and a medium fountain drink on the side as Taco Bell explains, the box 55% discount off of suggested menu prices if you were to purchase it at each item a la carte. So a la carte, obviously, that means just each item individually. If you were to purchase the drink and the chalupa, and the it'll add up to 55% more. You get it as a combo, $7. You save in half right there from what they say. Now, again, this is only going to be in certain places now because some of y'all just have ridiculously high prices for labor so they cannot do this everywhere let's check this out it says the only catch here is that the box will only be available for a limited time and it's the suggested retail price as eat this not that reported some customers have taken to social media 
to show that their local Taco Bell is selling the box for upwards of $10 with one customer showing their local Taco Bell is selling the cravings box for $17.99. Can we see that right quick? Let me make sure. Yeah, let me see. So they don't have their location or anything like that. But look, you see what it says right here. Lux Cravings Box. Medium found. Look, $17.99. And look at the calories on this. 1,400 to 1,680 calories. My goodness. My, my, my. All right. And then imagine you're able to get that for $7. 1,700 calories right around for $7. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's nuts. But hey, listen, I'm not here to block your blessings. If you like it, I love it. You might want to share this box with people. If you eat all of that to the head, you're going to have a big bat. Your bat's going to go from this to this in a very short period of time. So I suggest you be careful with the box, regardless of what you do. But I don't know where this is. I don't know if it's in uh, California or what? Okay. Let me see. And it says, somebody says, this is, this is a comment now. It says, downvote me all you want. But I just checked, and this is the exact price at the Universal City Vault location in Hollywood. So, of course, California, like I suggested. All right. I, I figured it pretty much be that. But let's keep on going. But it's not the only Taco Bell, only deal Taco Bell has going on right now. It also has the limited time $5 taco discovery box, which the company noted in its press release is in addition to its permanent cravings value menu which is full of offerings for the $3. So the, the cravings value menu, that's going to be permanent. That's going to be there. That's like the new dollar menu, right? <laughs> the $3 menu, that's a new dollar menu. Inflation is a serious thing, but that's going to be permanent for the cravings value menu. But the the box that we're talking about right now, the, the Lux box, that's going to be for a limited time only. All right. And you see what's going on here. You, uh, Taco Bell has joined McDonald's, Burger King, Starbucks and whatnot. Uh, for their own $5 value menu items just for the summertime. And of course, like an adjustable rate mortgage, they'll get you in for the low price. Hey, it's no problem. You can pay this money. It's no big deal. You'd be able to do it. But then once that arm kicks in, all of a sudden you got a crazy interest rate and your, and your mortgage balloons by an unsuspected amount of money, all of a sudden you're kind of in dire straits. They want to do the same thing here. This is just going to be a way for people to, come back to Taco Bell. If you've abandoned the location, if you've abandoned McDonald's or whatnot, they'll get you back with this. Now, if you're struggling financially, this could be a good way for you to be able to get some food. But for me personally, 1,700 calories, $7, uh, all that stuff, hey, it's not for me. But some of you guys love it. Listen, Taco Bell, as I close, and wrap it on up, put the bow on top, Taco Bell is always jam-packed. The line is sometimes wrapped around the building, I see aggressive driving, trying to get into the drive through almost having a wreck, kind of like the way Starbucks is in the morning to get that caffeine fix. Some of you guys love Taco Bell. This would be great news for you. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your opinion about the Taco Bell Lux box? $7. You get all those things. You get the chips and the tacos and the drinks and whatnot. Up to 1,700 calories for $7. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I understand what's happening here. These fast food places have to do something to compete because people are saying that it costs too much. It's way too expensive. I can't afford it. What are we going to do here? To me, it just kind of makes sense. But I hope all you guys go easy on it and don't overdo it and don't have your back go from this to this in a very short period of time over the summer while these deals are active. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.